Venera 13, meaning Venus 13, was a probe in the Soviet Venera program for the exploration of Venus. Venera 13 and 14 were identical spacecraft built to take advantage of the 1981 Venus launch opportunity and launched five days apart. Venera 13 on October 30, 1981, and Venera 14 on November 4. After launch and a four-month cruise to Venus the descent vehicle separated from the cruise stage and plunged into the Venusian atmosphere on March 1, 1982. After entering the atmosphere a parachute was deployed. At an altitude of about 50 kilometers the parachute was released and simple air braking was used the rest of the way to the surface. Venera 13 landed 950 kilometers northeast of Venera 14, just east of the eastern extension of an elevated region known as Phoebe Regio. The lander had cameras to take pictures of the ground and spring-loaded arms to measure the compressibility of the soil. The quartz camera windows were covered by lens caps which popped off after descent. These photos were top secret then, but now have been declassified. Leonid Kazan Fomalitai, of the Space Research Institute of Russia's Academy of Sciences, a contributor to the Venera mission, suggests signs of life in the Venera images. Leonid said that in the image we can see a scorpion-shaped life form. Take a look. To me it looks out of place, it also looks like how we see microorganisms through a microscope. Leonid believes that in the images, a scorpion-shaped creature, a disc, and a black flap are visible moving in front of the onboard camera of the Venera 13. According to reports from a Russian news agency Leonid explained in an article of the Russian journal Solar System Research magazine, they all emerge, fluctuate, and disappear. What if we forget about the current theories about the non-existence of life on Venus, he added, let's boldly suggest that the object's morphological features would allow us to say that they are living. American counterparts seem to firmly disagree with case and formality, which of course they would. Why spill the beans about everything, right? Ted Strike who is a photo analyst at NASA says it is more likely that the disc Leonid is talking about could have come from the spacecraft. So do you think this is evidence of life? Or parts of the spacecraft itself? You decide. Reported to the MUFON database on October 11, a UFO was seen flying past a flag while on a cutaway shot during a live cricket game held in Green Park Stadium in India. It appears to be traveling quite fast. The uploader of the video said they thought it looked as if it were traveling at the speed of light. Let's take a look. Let's see it in slow motion while zoomed in. It does not appear to be a bird or a drone. The shape is very much like a disc, and it is without a doubt casting light from itself, 
indicating it is made of some sort of metal. This is truly remarkable footage here and I leave it up to you guys to decide what you think it is. Reported by InternationalBusinessTimes.com Voice from a student's hostel in India saw a strange transparent circular object hovering over the neighborhood at around 1.30 p.m on Wednesday, October 7th. This object is being called a lenticular cloud formation by some, but as you can see by the pictures, there is more to this than that. This thing bears no resemblance to such clouds that have been photographed in the past. In one of the photos you see a person looking up and pointing at the object, which is the key point made by the IBT report that this is not a hoax. I'm not ruling anything out here, I just thought it was a story worth sharing with you all. For decades, the Apollo mission photos have been available to the public to view through NASA, but never like this. NASA has just released all 8,400 images of the Apollo moon missions on their Flickr account. All the photos are in HD, and while sifting through the Apollo 17 folder, Magazine 151, I came across this strange structure in one of them. Let's take a closer look. This thing is huge and has to be a few hundred feet high at least, but I'm just guessing here. Just look at the shadow it is casting across the surface of the moon. It stretches across for miles. There is nothing like it anywhere else in the area, or at all on the moon. What can it be? Another monolith type of structure, like the one seen on the Mars moon Phobos? That's what it reminds me of. Could it be an alien beacon, or marker point? An actual building? There wasn't a closer picture of it in the folder, then again there wasn't another picture of it at all. So there is no way of telling what it is, but it is there, and it is very interesting. What do you think it is? Let me know in the comments below. With the recent announcement of flowing water on Mars, that thaws after cold Martian winters, seen here in these streaks, NASA scientists have speculated that there could be some creatures that wait for this water to start flowing, then emerge from hibernation to drink it. In this NASA rover picture, found on the Facebook page, Journey to the Center of the Mars, there is a strange looking turtle shaped object on the red planet. The object sticks out like a sore thumb, due to the long protrusion that looks like a neck, and what can only be described as a shell. This really opens up the imagination a bit, I know but wouldn't it be fascinating to find out the same type of creatures that dwell here on Earth, live comfortably on Mars? Wouldn't that give hope that one day we can too? As always, you decide.
reported by Cron.com, and submitted to the Mufon database back on March 30, 2015, this crazy UFO was seen over Houston, Texas. The lights pulsated and changed colors for quite some time, but let's hear what the witness had to say about the event. At approximately 2.30 a.m. on March the 30th, 2015, I was outside and noticed a light in the sky. At first I thought it was a star, but then I noticed that it was changing color. I grabbed my camcorder out of the truck and started recording. As I zoomed in, it disappeared from my viewfinder twice. The third time I tried to record I was able to record a metallic grey spherical object in the sky. I recorded it for a little over three and a half minutes and during this time, it morphed its shape, taking on the appearance of the moon at one point. It hovered in the sky above me for quite some time, then it moved slowly across the sky toward the west. It stayed in the sky until about 4.30 a.m., until it began to move again. This time it disappeared into the early morning sky. I was in shock and awe. I am lucky that I had some charge left on my camcorder. Although you can't see it in the film, what I saw with the naked eye, I am sure someone might be able to brighten the video enough to identify it as the object I described. I didn't get any ill feelings toward the object and it didn't frighten me. It was more like a sensation of finding out something existed that I never thought I would find out. So I believe this is one of the most amazing UFO videos ever shot. There does not seem to be any video manipulation here. And the overall appearance of the craft is simply breathtaking. But I leave it up to you to decide for yourself what was at play here. Yesterday I reported on several V-shaped formations that were witnessed during the super blood moon eclipse that occurred on Sunday night. Now others have taken to the MUFON database, submitting their photos of the event. as well as startling new images of other V-shaped craft that were seen that same night. Take a look. So what was going on that night? I personally think there are too many witnesses and photos of these things to chalk it up to Photoshop hoaxes. But I leave that up to you to decide. Has the skeleton of a dog-like creature been found on the red planet Mars, by the rover Curiosity? Well, let's take a look. If we add some color to the picture we can see it better. It looks fossilized, just like how we find dinosaur bones. It sure does look like some kind of creature's remains. We can see a head that is attached to a spine. I don't know how else to put it. What do you guys think it is? <laughs> 